as people grow older and older, they're bound to seek out anti-aging solutions with wrinkle treatments ranking at the top of the list. Botox, injecting botulinum toxin under the skin, continues to be a popular and effective wrinkle alternative although it is not without its side effects. For example, when researchers looked at Botox side effects that were reported to the Food and Drug Administration, they found thousands of Botox side effects ranging from eyelid and eyebrow drooping and muscle weakness to even occasional death. Yeah, dying. Although the researchers were quick to point out here that one reported death in each of the main Botox brands was not significant. And I guess that's true unless you happen to be that person. Peptides are basically short chains of amino acids and some that are applied topically to the skin have been investigated as possible solutions for fine lines and wrinkles. And one peptide in particular that has been studied is called Argireline, which sort of acts like Botox and has been getting a lot of attention, but unlike Botox, it's less potent. Argeline is estimated to be about 4,000 times less potent than Botox, and so it's kind of seen as a kinder, gentler version of Botox. Now, no doubt that Argeline is popular, but the question I want to address in this video is, does Argeline really reduce wrinkles? So, we had this investigation with an intriguing title, The Anti-Wrinkle Efficacy of Argeline, in which the authors conclude Argireline could rejuvenate aging skin. Now, that sounds wonderful, except there's a tiny problem here in that the researchers gave it to old mice, which is of little benefit to most of the eyes watching this video. Now, fortunately, however, our conversation does not stop here. We also had this study where 60 people between the ages of 25 and 60, don't know why they included 25 year olds, but they did, are given either Argireline or placebo. It's applied to their skin twice a day for one month. So did Argireline help the wrinkles around the eyes? So I'm gonna let you decide here. So we have this before and after picture of a 40 year old woman. On the top, we see her at the start of the investigation, and the picture below is after four weeks of using Argireline twice a day for a month. Granted, this woman did not have many wrinkles at the beginning of the study, but I do see smoother skin around her eyes. You tell me what you think. We are also shown this 49-year-old woman where I think we see a more dramatic difference. So this woman started out with more wrinkles around her eyes, which we can see at the top picture. After using Argeline for a month, there does appear to be significant reduction in the wrinkles around her eyes. Granted, the skin around her eyes doesn't look as smooth as the other picture, but her wrinkles were deeper. Now, this does tell us that the results with Argireline will vary and the effectiveness of it will depend on how many wrinkles you have and how deep are those wrinkles. In this paper, an anti-wrinkle topical formula called Instant Age Back was tested. This product contained several ingredients, including a 10% solution of Argireline that was applied to the faces of 26 people with wrinkles and scars on their face and the researchers took before and after pictures after a few minutes of application. So in this first picture we see the before and after of a woman who's afflicted with a condition called hydrodentist which causes painful bumps under the skin. Now I don't know about you but I do see a significant reduction in the bumps after Argireline use. The last picture you see here is taken 24 hours later where we can see a returning of this condition. In another picture, we see a woman who had a mole removed from her face around the eye area. On the picture on the right, I see a big difference in how the scar appears. It's much less dramatic than you see on the left side of the screen. And here is the before and after pictures of crow's feet around the eyes of a 50-year-old woman. Again, I see significant differences in wrinkles in the before and after pictures, which leads me to believe that Argireline probably will work for many people. 
So the question you're probably asking yourself is, how does our Giraline work? And well, it's been called Botox in a bottle because it kind of looks like Botox, but it's not the same thing. Remember, Botox is injected while our Giraline is applied topically to the skin. Our Giraline appears to work by reducing the release of acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter that causes muscle contractions. Inhibiting acetylcholine relaxes the muscles, causing a temporary erasing of fine lines and wrinkles. Now, if you're intrigued, you're probably wondering what products have Argiraline, and I would say that it turns out that Argiraline is in quite a few wrinkle creams that you may have already heard of, such as this product here called Glow 24K, which is supposed to have gold in it, but gold is not the key ingredient. As you can see from its ingredients, Argiraline is. Here they're calling it Acetyl Hexapeptide 8. Plexiderm, whose dramatic TV commercials you may have already seen, also contains this substance. Here is a product from Estee Lauder, where amongst all the ingredients, we also see our Giraline listed as well. And then wrapping up this list is Hydroxetone, which has been around a number of years. It also contains the Argiraline substance. All right, so now let's briefly talk about some side effects because this is quite important. So we have this really strange report of a woman who developed pus-filled abscesses on her face after getting Argiraline injections. Yeah, injections of this stuff. Even stranger is that this procedure was performed at a private cosmetic clinic. Who does this? Bottom line here, Argiraline is a topical solution. It's not an injectable like Botox is, and so I don't know why they would inject it. If there are any dermatologists watching this video, please comment below and let me know if there are any benefits to injecting Argiraline, and I would also love to see efficacy and safety studies of injecting it as well. Now, other than this strange report, Clinical trials don't report any serious side effects, although I have seen some people online warning about the possibilities of skin drooping due to our Giraline's temporarily paralyzing facial muscles. Others have talked about allergic reactions as well. And to these reports, I can only say I can't confirm or deny either of them. They don't appear to have been reported in the research. However, to be safe, if you're gonna try Argiraline, I would say do a patch test first where you apply a small amount of Argiraline to a small patch of your skin to see what happens. And while we're on the topic, if you have experienced any side effects from Argiraline, please do leave a comment below. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Now, as for tips on finding Argiraline in cosmetics, as I prep for this video, I looked at several different wrinkle creams and noticed that many had the word rapid in their name, but they did not contain the Argiraline ingredient. So to know for sure, you're gonna have to look at the ingredients to know which cosmetics have this stuff. And I know from experience looking at cosmetics for this video that wrinkle creams tend to have a lot of ingredients. So you're gonna have to get your magnifying glasses out scan those ingredients for these words, Argiraline or Acetyl Hexapeptide 8 or Acetyl Hexapeptide 3. All these words refer to the same thing. Either of these words may be listed in the ingredients or perhaps maybe just one of the ingredients. And to help you figure this out a little bit better, usually these words tend to be listed towards the bottoms of the ingredients list, but not always. As for how much to use, Argiline solutions come in different concentrations, ranging from about 2% to 10%, but don't assume you need the highest concentration. Start with lesser concentrations first and see what happens. If you start with less, this might also save you more money as well. I would be remiss if I did not point out that most of the research I've seen involves women, but I see no reason why Argiline would not work on a man's wrinkles as well. Still, I would like to see more men's research just to know for sure. And also I would point out that more expensive brands may not matter. I have seen Argiline listed in less expensive brands and I've seen it not present in those that cost more. And to help you, I will link to an inexpensive Argiline wrinkle serum in the description to get you started. 
So from the research, it looks like our Zureline does appear to reduce facial wrinkles and fine lines. Although, like everything else, you're going to have to keep using it or the effects will eventually go away. If you have tried our Zureline, leave a comment below and let me know what happened. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.